Hi, first graders. My name is Mrs. Morgan, and I'm the art teacher here at Dorothy Height Elementary. And before we get started with our arts class, I would like for you to get everything ready that you might need for art. And it would be especially nice if you would have all your art supplies in one place so that every time that you came on to do your art, you'll have everything ready right there. You won't have to run around looking for stuff. So we're going to start out with one of the most important things in art. Lots of people say it is the most important thing. And that is the element of art, which we call line. So there are five types of lines, and they have names. They have a vocabulary name. Um, we're going to, I'll give you those names. Um, and, and it's something that um, I just want you to be aware of, that these lines have names. So our art for today, what we're going to do is we're going to create a design. And this is what it looks like. Okay, this is what it looks like. And as you can see, this design has a lot of different types of lines in it. It also has pattern. Lines can be used to make patterns. What are patterns? Patterns are things that repeat. Repetition. Lines, uh, you might put in a, a curvy red line. So curvy red line repeated over and over again would create a pattern. Uh, this these lines right here, this creates a pattern. Uh, the patterns that go one way and then a patterns that crisscross makes a pattern. These are a, this is a pattern of color and line. So how do we get started with this? Well, I want you to get a piece of paper and uh, something to write with. You can use a pencil, you could use a marker, a crayon, anything that will make a mark. And I'm going to use a black marker so that you can see what I'm doing. Okay. Okay. So what I'm going to do is, first of all, I'm going to take my marker and I'm going to place it on the paper. Then I'm going to lift it immediately. I'm not going to move it around. I'm just going to place it on the paper and then I'm going to lift it. And I want you to see that I've made a, a dot. Then I want you to put your marker back on that dot and start moving that dot around. I'm moving the dot. Okay, and this is called a curvy line. I'm making a curvy line. You can make your curvy line any way you like. Okay, and I want you to see I'm going very slow. I'm not scribbling. I am deliberately placing my lines very carefully. Here's a straight line. This line's called a, hori a horizontal line. A horizontal line. That line goes back and forth. This line is a vertical line. It goes straight up and down. Now I'm going to make a diagonal line. And diagonal lines are slanty. This is what we call a zigzag line. And you can see zigzags are very some are short, some are long on your zigzags, but they're created with other straight lines, aren't they? I'm going to make some more curvy lines, and I want you to see what I'm doing is I'm creating big spaces so that when we're done, we can start adding in different lines and patterns in our artwork. Okay, 
we're not scribble scrabbling. We don't want it to be these these shapes to be so little that you will be putting in shapes forever and ever. You want these nice big shapes. And then we're going to add different lines in each one of the shapes. So like in this shape here, I might do some diagonal lines. You want your lines to be close together so they make very pretty designs close together. Okay, um, in this one I might do, uh, I might fill this one in with zigzag lines. You want them kind of close together. I might stop right there and in here I'm going to put some curvy lines. So you see you're just adding little lines everywhere. Now if you want to you can put in color. You can even make your lines with color if you want. Or you can go back in and you can add some color to the designs you've already gotten. And that's how you do this. I'm just going to color in that area. It looks pretty. Okay. So that's how you do this art, and you'll have all week to finish this. When we come back next Monday, you will be showing me your filled in artwork. If you have, you know, trouble with this, or if I've gone too fast, you always can pause and you can look at uh, what we've done so far and catch up if you need to. I'm going to leave this up here. This will give you some ideas. If you need to get some ideas, you can always put up, rewind the video, go back and um, pause it and keep that up and you can look at it and you can get some ideas. Okay, so that's our art for the week. I hope you have fun.